you guys saw that that little clip that they showed the other day. Yeah, well, they showed one where his his suit was like forming around him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like and the I, yeah. The mummy wrap was. Yeah, it looked cool. So yeah, I'm yeah. excited to see what the what that's all about. Getting, I mean, the graph, like the whatever it is for, is it animation? Is it visual effects? The yeah. Visual effects yeah. is starting to get insane. Yeah. With them, like even for their shows. They like, got that money. They got mm. that money. That's right. Disney's not fucking around. <laughs> no, they are not. They they find something that's gonna make them money. They're they gonna make, spend it. Yeah, they, they they use all their resources. Yeah, on it for sure. You know what's crazy? It's just so crazy. Like I know I said this about the podcast, like uh, that you had in, had me interview that day about how we would go in the Marvel Encyclopedia in front of the house. Mm-hmm. It's just so crazy that what they ended up doing, like now. Yeah. You know. Like I would have never thought that they would have. Put Moon Knight or right. no, Shang Chi or any of them. I didn't even I didn't even know who Moon Knight was until I heard like it get announced. Yeah, um, yeah. there's so many like there's hella projects that they've come out with where I was like I don't even know who the fuck that is. Yeah. Or would it even work? Yeah, right? yeah, and like that's always like a thing where it's like is this gonna be good or is it gonna be a dud? And for the most part, all of it's good. I mean, there's like bad parts about some of. Some of it, yeah, but like, but you can't, that's you anything. Can't strike gold all the time. Yeah. Especially with some of these kind of sketchy stories where you're like, is it going to work? Yeah. At least they're making it work for the most part. Like, yeah, and that's what I was saying it. on that, that one we did last week, I think, where I was talking about Peacemaker, mm-hmm. where it's just like, I'm okay with whatever, like, with some of these shows just not touching any of the major stuff. Peacemaker is doing his own thing. Mm-hmm. He's living his own life, fighting his own stuff, and it has nothing to do with... With just a cameo? Yeah. Have you guys watched it? Yeah. Yeah, I finished okay. it, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, and I'm that. okay with that. Like, not everything has, like I said, not everything has to be a part of the bigger picture. Right. Give us the street-level stuff. I don't I don't need to see Moon Knight. I would like Moon Knight to be on the Avengers, mm. but I don't need him to be there. Let's put this in the show. Record. <laughs> it's already recording. Oh, it? okay. oh wow. Yeah. Okay. This guy's good. I didn't even see him in the button. Three good. minutes. We were, two, we're three minutes in, man. No, yeah, like, uh, I actually read something yesterday that said, it was from, like, the producer of Moon Knight, uh, and he was basically talking about, like, this is its own sort of thing. It's not going to, it's still set within the universe, but... Yeah. You're not going to see him like talking about the Avengers or you know what's going on with them. Like yeah. he's in his own sort of world mm-hmm. within the world, and we're going to see that kind of accumulate into you know some other stuff happening with other characters that aren't necessarily your typical superheroes or mm-hmm. you know capes and bad guys and stuff like that. We're going to get into more of that supernatural type of. A world which i'm excited for likewise yeah. yeah and i think it it works with hopefully they bring in like the netflix characters mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. most of them three quarters of them <laughs> why you say three quarters they could leave iron fist somewhere else why did you watch the show no but i've heard mixed reviews about it man i mean there's this, good parts to it but him as moon knight or not moon knight uh iron, iron fist. fist is it doesn't work no just recast them you guys already did the multiversal thing. Just, <laughs> just tell me that this is a, a different Iron Fist. Yeah, just and have just someone completely else completely rewrite them. That's yeah. what I was thinking they're doing with the multiverse of madness. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I was gonna actually ask you guys this last week when we were recording. <laughs> um, I was gonna ask like your opinion on it. Um, do you think that they're introducing uh, variants? and new characters just because or is it a money thing where they can't afford the old iron man right so to speak i mean i know tony stark yeah him down he's gone but let's just use him as like a an example like maybe they can't afford him anymore so let's introduce a variant of iron man and that way we can write more about that variation or i mean I, or do I, you think it's just to go ahead steve I, yeah, what do you think about that i don't think it's that they can't afford him because I, it's Disney, so I think that they'll pay for what they want to pay for. One, I don't think Robert Downey wants to do it for mm-hmm. his whole life. It's hard too because like in the comics, these comics run for ten, fifteen years yeah. before we get a something new. Mm-hmm. So, is it possible that he could have done it for the rest of his life? Yeah, but he also has to age out of it at one point too because I don't want to 
a gray haired kind of <laughs> like hunched over <laughs> Iron Man. A Stanley Iron Man. Yeah. Um, so like eventually they would have had to branch out and like give us those other stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why not now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean like I feel like one, it's good it it didn't it starts something new for the universe which we haven't seen before happen. You know, like we went through the phase of just the heroes becoming heroes and like put forming this team and being like the first, you know, Avengers team yeah, and all right. that. And then we jumped into, you know, like all these other new characters coming in and growing the world. And now we're at a, a point where we have, we can, they can pretty much do anything. Mm-hmm. And they're really diving into like that comic book sort of feel and that world of having mm-hmm. multiverses and a supernatural side and, you know, just these weird characters that you wouldn't think would make Swamp sense things. in the yeah, that wouldn't make sense in the, in the world, but they're there. They're there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, we're. I think it's interesting to see where everything's going and how they're tackling everything, especially yeah, yeah. after Eternals. Um, mm-hmm. It just feel. I mean, everything that we've gotten so far. I think I've talked to you, Steve, about this. Is mm-hmm. like, it's taking everything to different different roads Mm -hmm. like before we would just be like at the end of the avengers we saw thanos and we're like okay everything's leading up to thanos right now we've seen eternals um traveling through space we saw celestials taking them and judging they're going to judge the earth right right we're seeing multiverse we're seeing variants like there's so many different ways this is going to go and no one really knows where the end game is super soldiers exactly I i don't think people have realized like how much like this phase four has expanded for sure the mm-hmm. MCU. Like, okay, cool, we saw Thanos at the end of Avengers and like it was like, okay, there's our big bad, right? Mm-hmm. But the Celestials have always been here. Mm-hmm. The entire The time. Eternals have always been here. All that stuff happened while they were watching it. Uh, yeah. 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 All this stuff happened while Kang was it was happening because he allowed it Kang to happen. Allowed it to happen. Yeah, we got that explanation. Yeah. Right. So, so now it's like, okay, it. like, cool, we were all here. And then now this happens. So now it opens up to here. And then this happens. And then it opens up to even further. And now we have all this. This world is just completely expanded. Yeah, it's like a balloon that just kind of sits over us. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. like, we don't know what's inside, like, where it's going to go. Yeah. That's why it, it kills me when people are like, oh, Eternal sucks. Right. But it's like it. It might mm-hmm. have sucked because you expected a Marvel movie to have more action and yeah. fighting and all that stuff. Did you think it sucked no. personally? No. No. But mm-hmm. I, I think that's that might be because I'm into this shit. Right, right. And right. I read the comics mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So, like, I understood what that movie was doing mm-hmm. and how it was expanding everything. Conceptually. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it, it, it meant something more to me to have that movie come out. Cause it was just like I just liked how they added substance. Yeah, like it became. I don't want to, you know, for anybody who's maybe not religious or spiritual that's listening. I don't want to be too like muddy in that regard, but it gave it a little bit more of a meaning. Yeah, to me, like just the fact that at like spoiler alert, but like that planet basically like Earth, we is assisting the other Celestials to mm. stop its emergence, right? Yeah, mm. because it realizes what kind of beings are on its planet yeah right like the captain america iron man's black panthers of the world right mm-hmm. um i just thought that it it gives it, ge- it gives like depth mm. in terms of like i don't like again i don't want to use spirituality as it but like it, it like gives it like a spiritual kind of feel to it like we're we're the avengers are truly the earth's protectors like yeah. it's not the eternals it's the Avengers who are representing us as humans, right? The Eternals are just kind of like the next tier. Yeah. Which are, I'm sure there's way more tiers above them, right? Yeah. But no, I liked it a lot. I agree, because, I mean, they could have easily, easily made just another superhero movie with that right. one. And just, you know, here here's the bad guy they're going to fight, the you know, the Celestial and whatever. Yeah. That's what I thought they were going to do. Mm. But the fact that they actually w- kind of did that whole morality thing, yeah. like, is it right for... Because, I mean, technically they were both kind of... On the same Icarus, side. Icarus is kind of right. Like, yeah. he is protecting the universe and what the universe has to do. And then here we are, like... Yeah, they were 
his whole thing was what uh like we can't save this amount of people to destroy that amount of people yeah. this amount of yeah. people and then theirs was just like well we can't <laughs> just allow we can't these just people just allow these people to, to die. die so it saves all those yeah. right they're just arguing both sides of the coin that's it yeah it's a very you know like you can have Icarus aside and understand what he's what he's mm-hmm. doing right mm-hmm. But then you can sympathize yeah. with uh, the rest of them that are yeah. trying to protect. And the, the and it's it's kind of corny, but it's like I can understand that because I'm human, right? right. Yeah. Like yeah, no, don't kill all of us because <laughs> 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 to save all those people. <laughs> like that, no, that's kind of fucked up. I don't want you to do that. Yeah. But like, if I was in his position, like yeah, I get it. Yeah, the grand scale of things, like we were just another planet in the whole scheme of. You know, whatever yeah. the Celestials yeah. had it going. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the space aspect of the Marvel, of the MCU is going to be crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm really excited for the Supernatural yeah, side yeah. and where we're going to go with that. Because... Well, uh, real I mean, quick, um, welcome to the show. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what was it, five minutes in, ten minutes yeah. in, whatever? We're back with another episode uh, this week. We're, it's our Moon Knight special. Yeah. For the show, the show comes out tomorrow. Uh, when this comes out, so. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm very excited. We got our friend uh, Robert here, Robbie Rodello, back again for another week. Thanks, guys. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for having me. Thanks for coming back. Absolutely, yeah. I love it here. <laughs> I got my brother here, Demarco. What up? It's me, Steven, your other co-host. And uh, yeah, if you haven't figured it out at this point, we're just talking Moon Knight. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, supernatural aspect of it. Yeah, we got Moon Knight. We tomorrow. got Moon Knight. Uh, later in the year, we have Werewolf by Night. Uh, it so what I next year? No, that's this year. Mm. Uh, apparently, with all the other characters they're going to introduce in it, it's going to be called something else. Mm. Oh no! But uh, Werewolf by Night is supposed to be in it. Mm. Um, supposedly, Vampire by Night, and I'm not too versed on the whole supernatural aspect of the of the marvel universe so uh i know werewolf by night is literally a werewolf (laughs) by night (laughs) by (laughs) night uh and that's pretty much it i don't know anything about vampire by night or even uh who else is another one that they usually roll with i mean ghost rider could be an option as well too blade blade um morbius black knight from eternals Mm -hmm. could also be on there uh, so they could have a they have a whole aspect or team of or just side of the MCU that they can just explore that doesn't necessarily even have to touch on the Avengers or any of that stuff because it's not their it's it's super problem. heroics but yeah, yeah but it's not really like their their pay grade mm-hmm. if you if you will mm-hmm. so interesting to see yeah. where that'll go yeah I forgot all those characters that they could bring in yeah, it's, it's that's probably gonna too. lead into and the cool thing about Moon Knight is, yeah. like, he can be supernatural, but he can also just be, like, street-level heroics, too. Because mm-hmm. he's been, I think, on, like, what are they called, like, Midnight Suns or something. Mm-hmm. I think that was, I can't remember if that's, like, the supernatural side. I think it's more uh, street-level, or, like, Marvel Knights or something. That was yeah, an imprint was that they Knights, had. Yeah. yeah, so that was an imprint he's that that Marvel had. He's been an Avenger. He's an anti-hero, so he works. With, he could work with the Punisher if you if you know things work out, or Ghost Rider, Daredevil, yeah, any I, of that. I saw a quote. That's sick. Yeah, yeah. I saw a quote from him, from one story that he said that uh, he's he sees himself as like right in the middle of uh, Spider-Man and Punisher. Mm. Mm. He doesn't have that goodness that Spider-Man has, that like love for the people that he has, and then he he's not nearly as <laughs> aggressive and uh was it kind of petty mm-hmm. as the punisher yeah petty is yeah. <laughs> he really is yeah, a petty guy <laughs> yeah so yeah he sees himself as like uh, right in between those two yeah i can see that that should be interesting man. 
so, so let me oh uh, yeah let me do my part first because i i wrote a little thing just so we can kind of get an understanding at least a little bit of who moon knight is mm-hmm. yeah so his uh his first appearance in any comic book was august 1975 armed with a pair of uh cestus gloves do you guys know what those are no Mm-mm. So they're uh, these Roman glad- uh, gladiator style gloves mm-hmm. with spikes on the knuckles. Oh, nice. okay. Yeah. So he was armed with a pair of those and a crescent shaped uh, throwing razors. Yeah, I've seen that in the the trailers. Yeah. It's pretty, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. He gave uh, he gave Jack Russell, aka the Werewolf by Night, the worst beatdown of his life <laughs> <laughs> in his first appearance, and in the comics he is a mercenary. A vet, uh, not the pet kind of veteran. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I he was, was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Moon Knight. <laughs> uh, he was briefly employed by the CIA. He's a weapons expert, a practitioner of all martial arts. He's an ex prize fighter uh, and a Marine commando. Is he immortal? Yes. Okay. In the comics, he is. Okay. I, I'm not sure if they're going to run with that in the show. Right. But in the comics, he is. But he didn't actually gain any of his powers in the comics until he got his first solo comic. And that was about five years after he first appeared. Huh. When he got his first, his own comic book. And in, the, in those five years, the only notable superhero that he ever came across was Spider-Man. Mm. Well, okay. That's something to note right now. Yeah. For... So no crossovers, nothing. Just random. That's kind of cool. I mean, you operate as a superhero in a world with superheroes, and yet you do not cross any of them whatsoever, besides mm-hmm. like one. Yeah. yeah. But that that kind of makes me excited for the show too, because right. it 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 adds like the mystery of it. It's just yeah. him. Yeah. To be in this world of superheroes and not be seen by anybody yeah. for all these years, especially in the MCU where this has been going on for twelve years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you guys haven't run across this guy at all. Um, but in the in the comics, he gained his powers after being left for dead in the desert in Egypt mm-hmm. at the foot of uh, the Egyptian god uh, Khonshu, mm-hmm. who saved him and gave him moon-based powers. And he also has a dissociative identity disorder. Like he has split personalities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was caused uh, by the god Khonshu. Hmm. So, when he was saved, was that when he was on a stint as a veteran? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. When, like, initially? Uh, in the comic books. Ah, uh, cause I I thought it was when he was a mercenary. Or yeah, that's what I. Oh, that might have been. That might have been it. Yeah. Cause I read a little bit about that. And uh, the only last thing I had is he's Jewish. <laughs> oh okay. But he's not practicing. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> so, I can read the whole Wikipedia entry if you guys want more. But uh, So it says, Son of a rabbi, Mark Spector was a former Marine and CIA operative who became a mercenary despite his conflicted feelings about violence and morality. During a job in Sudan, Spector was, applied, was appalled when ruthless fellow mercenary uh, Raoul Bushman attacked and killed archaeologist Dr. Arul. Uh, after saving the archaeologist's daughter and colleague, uh, Spectre was then mortally wounded by Bushman before finding himself drawn to the recently unearthed tomb for shelter and placed before the statue of Egyptian god Khonshu. Wow. Spectre dies, but is then suddenly revived, fully healed. He claims Khonshu wants him to be the moon's knight, redeeming his life of violence by now protecting and avenging the innocent. While early stories imply Spectre is merely insane, it is later revealed Khonshu is real, one of the several entities from the other void, a dimension outside of normal time and space, Ooh. who was worshipped by uh, as gods by ancient Earth people. On his return to the United States, Spectre invests in mercenaries' profit. Oh, on his, in his return to the United States, Spectre invests his mercenary profits into becoming a crime fighter, Moon Knight, aided by his colleague Frenchie and uh, Marlene, the daughter of the archaeologist killed. Uh, who becomes his lover and eventual mother to his daughter. Oh, I didn't know he had a daughter. Along with his costume alter ego, he primarily uses three other uh, identities to gain information from different social circles. Billionaire businessman Steve Grant, 
taxi cab driver Jake Lockley and suited consultant Mr. Knight. Uh, it's later revealed Moon Knight has dissociative identity disorder and the alter egos known as Grant and Lockley originally manifested during his childhood. Subsequently, identities including an unnamed red-haired little girl and astronaut emerged during his adulthood. It is debated whether or debating different stories whether uh, his mental disorder due to childhood trauma or the result of brain damage caused by his psychic connection to Kanchu, a connection compelling Moon Knight's personality to to shift between the four major aspects of the Moon God's multifaceted nature, the Traveler, the Pathfinder, the Embracer, and the Defender of those who travel at night. Kanchu claims he created a psychic connection to Moon Knight when when the latter was a young boy, Decades before he was ready to be fully recruited as an avatar for Earth, as the left fist of Kanchu. That's interesting. Damn. That is interesting. Yeah. yeah. I, I uh, you said that he the the spirit is from a place non-existent with time and space, right? Yeah. It reminds me of like the quantum realm vibes, right? Yeah, I think and. I, even though I've read that it's not going to be fully tied to the whole MCU, mm-hmm. there's aspects of it that just make sense for where they're going based on other things. Like, here's a god that is reaching out to a normal person, when in Thor, Love, and Thunder, it's all about the gods and how they treat humans, in humans you know? Mm-hmm. So there might be an aspect there, um, you know, and just... Like we talked about earlier, the whole supernatural and just street level stuff Mm -hmm. that he can be a a window to depending on where he ends up. Mm -hmm. If he ends up in New York, that's a window for him to meet Daredevil and all the other street level people. Um, So, yeah, I'm I'm interested. I'm really interested to see the whole how they tackle his mental disorder. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's a sensitive topic, right? Yeah. You you don't want to go too hard into it because then you're not really you're treating it like it's like a gimmick and not really like it's something that people deal with. Yeah. But then you, you don't want to go too soft and not really tackle like how this really affects somebody. So I'm really interested to see how they can go about with having an actor who doesn't have that disorder Mm -hmm. and how you, how you can actually, he's a great actor. Yeah. Oscar Isaac is like really good. Shout out Oscar Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. I trust Oscar Isaac's enough to, he he said he's had a, a big part and the character himself mm. so and he, he seems to really understand like what he's doing with it so i don't think that they'll they'll fall on their face with that this the show is based um in london right like isn't it starting out in i think london? yeah it's somewhere yeah there's like that london part um but i think I don't know if it's going to be like world traveling or right, right. or just stick there for now and then he kind of moves out somewhere but I'm I'm pretty sure he's not locked into just one space. Yeah. Because I know that Eternals was in London. Yeah. Right, and Black Knight mm-hmm. is out there right now. Yeah. So, so I mean that that could be something. And then I yeah. also what you just said, he takes like four different like he's like it's like the Pathfinder, yeah. the Traveler, the what is it what was the third the one? Embracer Protector Embracer, Embracer and Defender or something like that. Said. I wonder if they're gonna do, use all those in the show though, because I've only seen like three costumes or right. outfits that they've made posters for. Mm-hmm. Or maybe they—they, they, I mean, knowing them, they could just be keeping the other ones a secret. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they can honestly, because like I know the character a little bit, but I don't know a whole lot. Most of what I know from them is from the 2004, 2014 mm-hmm. uh, run, where I think Mister Knight was introduced, mm-hmm. and in that one. A lot of the issues, or at least like the first six, uh, don't have like an overarching story or anything. So it's kind of just here's the character and what he's doing. And in those ones, he was already kind of he's already the Moon Knight. So oh, okay. sometimes he'll use he uses his money for like a, almost like a Batman type of thing. So it helps solve crimes and murders and this and that. Uh, so that's where I was like first really introduced to like more reading the character than anything that's tight yeah i don't know where we go on this show (laughs) i don't know i don't know because i feel like you can introduce so many characters in there i think i think we're gonna get a blade sighting Mm -hmm. here i can see that it makes sense i mean like you said they're in london that's where black knight was and is that where blade is based 
I don't know if he's based in London. I know in the comics he was originally written as, uh, like, from England. Right. British. So he could be there already. And then this and whole that's thing. that's where the, that post-credit scene was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, on Eddie Turner. Okay, sure yeah. ready for that? So, I mean, that they could, at the end of Moon Knight, for all we know, they could meet up or Blake could even show up there and he could be like the Nick Fury for the for the whole thing Midnight Suns yeah oh yeah I did clarify so uh, Midnight Suns is the Supernatural team Mm -hmm. and that's uh, I think if I remember correctly it was Moon Knight played uh, Doctor Strange I think Black Knight was on their Ghost Rider pretty much like all those spiritual supernatural Mm -hmm. and then Marvel Knights is like the name of the team but in the books they're unnamed hmm so it's just Daredevil, Moon Knight, Luke Cage, Shang Chi, Black Widow, and they were all teaming up to take down the Punisher at that wow. point. So wow. that could be something too if they yeah. want to go that route. But I like how they can use them both ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, team up with Daredevil, team up with Blade, like two different worlds right there. And but he's the bridge to it. Yeah, yeah. that's sick. And a, and a quick callback to me watching Spider-Man the animated series. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blade is a fucking menace. Yeah. In the show. <laughs> <laughs> he is a menace to society. What do you mean? He's so, like, so in the show, he's, well, I can't remember. if In, in the comics, he's part vampire, right? Yeah. 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 So in the show, his mom is a, a full vampire. And he spends his time trying to find her so he can help her or heal her to become human again. And then he... He quickly makes this cop fall in love with him in like one episode. She falls in love with him. She like wants to run off with him. He's like, no, it's not safe. Kisses her and then just dips out. (laughs) Kisses her, dips out, doesn't come back until like the next season, like late in the next season. She's all the cop is already waiting for this man to show back up. It's been like a year and a half. And then his uh his mom he finds his mom after he's been chasing her this whole time he's he wants to save her no matter the cost everybody else is trying to kill her and then the cop is like whatever you want to do i'm with you no matter what and he's like you know we can't do this 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 can't be a thing he kisses her again and just dips out Dead. You can tell he's done that before with other You're women sure. every city every, goes, yeah every city <laughs> Every city. <laughs> but that was it, yeah. You hear that, Mahershala Ali? <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's fine? It's <laughs> yeah, I mean, I really have no, like, there's no check boxes for me to have for this show. Like, I'm not, like, wanting them to do this thing or this thing or it's going to be a bad show if they don't. Yeah. Like, just I don't because I don't. I any of them in like that anymore. Like. Yeah, that's the thing, like. I just want to know what's happening now. Yeah, so many people do that. Like that's why I I hate the internet sometimes because it's like, oh, like why didn't they do this or why didn't like? There's always something. There's yeah. forty years worth of comic books on this guy. Like, you want him to put everything in there in the six episodes of the show? Like, yeah, it's not reasonable. No. And and even if you don't give me anything that's been in the comics before, like as long as you don't just completely throw the character out. Yeah the window from what he used to be in the comics I don't give a shit. i'm glad they're doing the mr knight thing though yeah because that's just it's just a badass suit like with the mask and everything um yeah that's really the only thing i, I really wanted to see was mr knight mm-hmm. i like his his actual costume with mm-hmm. the hood and everything i hope they do like at some point they change it to something a little bit more fitted fitted and like I like the the wraps and everything, but I just feel like it won't be something that's going to be to carry over right. for too long, you know? Like, that's him coming into his form. Yeah. And then once he kind of modernizes, it'll be like the yeah, 2020 version of Moon Knight, right? In the, the run I was reading, he has a suit that's more kind of like it, but more armor-plated, more up-to-date, mm. and mm. it's white and black in some areas. That's tight. I think that one's pretty cool if they can do that one. Kind of reminiscent of Batman, but, I mean, the character itself is always compared to Batman in a way. Hmm. Batman has issues, too. So. Yeah. yeah. For sure, huh? So He's, He probably has a lot more mental issues <laughs> than uh, Mr. Knight. Yeah. Moon Knight. But, yeah, like, I mean, I, I don't even know any of his villains, really. So, yeah. it's like I have no 
marker for where this show needs to be for me to enjoy it. I'm just glad to see Oscar Isaac in it. Yeah, he's a great actor. Ethan Hawke's in it, yeah, which is another interesting. Another great actor. Yeah. yeah. And then you just got this character that has all this history and like baggage with them that mm. I'm just interested to see where it goes. Mm-hmm. Out of all the new shows that I think are coming, that's, this is probably the more interesting one that I'm excited about mm-hmm. than all of them. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I told you, let's read some stuff for it. Mm-hmm. And then um, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I, the, the reason I didn't was, uh, one, because I was running out of time. And two, I thought, like, the, the more information we give everybody here, mm-hmm. like, based on the comics, like, I'm worried about it maybe, like, Oh, they well, they told me that in the comics, and now I know this, this, and this is gonna like yeah, it's possible. Away. Yeah, almost like we yeah we don't know what's gonna happen in the show, but just in case, like I know we did the the Shang Chi one didn't help anybody <laughs> when we did that special <laughs> before the movie came out. I know that didn't help no. a single person. <laughs> we told you his name, and that was it. But that's fine though. Yeah, yeah. but I feel like the the Hawkeye one maybe might have. Yeah, that wouldn't help. It, it helped, but it, it like it could have possibly spoiled some stuff. A little bit. But who knows? <laughs> <laughs> That's on us, though, as listeners. Yeah. You know, try to stay up to date if you can. So I figured let's just kind of read some stuff here, learn some stuff on our own, and just talk about it. And to be honest, like, if you guys do want to read any of this stuff, his series don't last that long. Mm-hmm. No. There may be... I think the longest one I saw was, like, 15 issues. Yeah. And they're doing... Or 30, for yeah. For the show, they're doing, you said, six episodes? Yeah. Yeah, that says a lot about the character's um, storyline. Like, maybe they don't want to use too much of the material that's there, f- you know, and ruin what could be... Well, I think the longest later. series, the maybe. longest show we've gotten so far has been, what, eight episodes? Yeah, was that, like, Loki or... Loki. Yeah, because WandaVision was six... What's Falcon and Winter Soldier was six, um, I think. I was going to say that might have been the closer one, to. Yeah, I think Loki was the only one that was eight. Loki. Because I know WandaVision was the shortest, I think. It was short. I was surprised how short WandaVision was. It just, Hawkeye was kind of short, too, mm-hmm. just because it was... Um, they did those two episodes the first season, yeah. or the first uh, mm-hmm. week, and then after that, it was just like... They played us on that one. Though. Yeah, mm-hmm. how they they did the uh, they showed up the the Christmas tree and uh, all they had the to do was just CGI a Spider-Man, Spider-Man yeah. swinging past. They could have did that. And then I I saw Spider-Man right the week after. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is it. And then the the last episode was supposed to come on after that. I was like, oh, they timed it perfect. <laughs> like Spider-Man's gonna be in the last episode. Nope. No. All I had to do was just one CGI. That's it. Not even a you clear have, picture of him. Just I don't this. even need this man to interact. With yeah. Him. Right, right. Just let him go by. <laughs> one swing. And oh. it's funny because it's like in my head I'm thinking like just let me know that he, he he's here. That's it. <laughs> and knowing that no. this whole thing is connected anyway. <laughs> just imagine he, yeah. he was there. That's what they want. Like. Yeah, they just turned the camera the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm wondering if it was like something to do with like the... You know, like, the whole Sony and Probably. all that. Like, because I, I mean. Because none of the movies are on Disney Plus right now. No. And then they're going to get released on, sh- I think, has it already been released on Showtime? I that's don't think, not yet. Yeah, that's where it's going first. Yeah. It's not even going to Disney. So. But I feel like, I know Marvel can use them in TV shows all they want. Mm. They can do whatever they want with them in, like, animated, but. Oh, I'm not sure good. what like yeah live action means or like. So they have like uh, Sony has all the movie rights for them. Yeah. yeah, but technically Hawkeye's a TV show, so. True, <laughs> but it, I guess it depends on if it's animated or not. She's they, CGI, that's animation. <laughs> it is animation, no CGI. <laughs> yeah, because I, I heard the other day that in No Way Home, none of the Spider Men wore their masks at all. Wow. That's all CGI. Oh shit. Yeah. Wow. None that's crazy. Them. Yeah, the whole time. Huh. They're just in the suits, no masks. I wonder why they did that. Because they have, like, a mold of, mm-hmm. like, their head, which puts goes on the mask. Yeah. But, like... Tom Holland, what's going on? <laughs> Talk to us. Come Give on, us answers, bruv. Tommy. Come on, bro. Come on, Tommy. Come on. Zendaya, help us out here. <laughs> we need answers. Shout out. Shout out. I, I, re- I didn't like that Euphoria season finale. 
Just so we're, <laughs> since, since we're talking Zendaya, oh, <laughs> we got to talk about that. It's not for this episode, but I need some answers. <laughs> you guys left a lot of things unanswered. <laughs> Rue owes somebody a lot of fucking money right now. Oh, my God. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just excited for the show. Yeah. I'm excited to where it leads. I'm excited to see where the supernatural stuff goes for uh the future and yeah like i said i just want it to, I, i'm i'm okay with some of the stuff not being connected to the bigger picture it just seems better that way i will say that i'm i wouldn't be mad if we don't get like midnight suns if they just do this and this yeah. is just standalone and this is for your leisure and entertainment i'm not gonna complain i would be okay with it yeah i'm i'm, I'm fine with things not all leading up to team ups right, and right. this and that, like as long as it's all in the same connected universe, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Like I told you, I think it was a couple weeks ago. I just, I'm tired. I don't want to see any more shows where they're talking about uh, the green guy or <laughs> the man with the iron suit. <laughs> right. Like just, just say his name. Yeah. If I'm okay with just one of the background characters talking about Iron Man on TV the other right. day, let something. it be. Yeah. Don't treat it like it's Lord Voldemort. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you must not be named. Like, oh. like wink, wink. Out. Yeah. You know who I'm talking you know, about. They're, they're too busy dropping pl- dropping uh, buildings from the sky. Yeah. yeah. Come on. I don't just say it. Yeah, just as long as I know it's connected, you don't have to say anything about it. Something I am interested about, though, uh, we won't spend too much time on this, but with the Netflix characters now, like, in the MCU, depending on which character we talk about, like, are we just going to ignore, like, their stories? Are we going to kind of roll them into what's happening? Because they're small enough to where it could happen without anybody really bad an eye, at least in the bigger picture of Mm -hmm. the stories. Like the Daredevil. Well, that's the thing is, do do you even have to explain anything? Because they've been so street level so far. Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't. You could just... Just keep it there. Yeah, just retcon it and say they've been here the whole time. We just yeah haven't... Because it's so street level, you haven't had to deal with it. Like Luke Cage is just a strong brother from the hood. He's yeah. going to have to explain some things. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he fought Blade already. <laughs> oh, yeah. For sure, huh? <laughs> so either Blade is running around here with a human twin or... <laughs> Or something ain't right here. Yeah. <laughs> so some, that part you got to figure some out. Some other brother just put, put the blade fit on and started getting to it like a copycat. Damn, I mean, like, yeah, like, I don't know if they thought about that, like, in the end. Shoot. That's like a plot hole. Yeah. Because that's, like, that's a villain to a hero. That's yeah. not even, like, a, oh, like, minor character, like, cameo, and then yeah. they become, like, a main uh, character or something. It works with. Eternals and uh, what's her name, Gemma Chang. Chang. Yeah, because she was painted up right, last time. She didn't look anything like. No, even Captain after Marvel I figured out that she was in Captain, uh, in Captain Marvel, like even going back and looking at the character, just picture to picture, I still can't. That's another I still don't great see actor, it. by the way. Yeah. Yes, she's phenomenal. And with Deadpool coming in too. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I just had a moment. My brother's senses just tingles. <laughs> I was like, hold on. I see Steven looking up, looking away. I'm like, hold on, I gotta turn around. The the part with this uh, the studio that we record at is that um, we d- we don't typically we don't look like anybody that lives out here. And, yeah, there you go. That's and nice there is uh, there's certain things that happen in there's our heads. There's some Mr. Feenies that might pop up yeah. over the fence, like. And there's certain aspects of our lives that have caused us to just look at things mm-hmm. when they happen. Uh, <laughs> so some things will just pop up and it, that distracts. Now there's three of us here. Always keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so one of one of us looks off at something that wasn't it's being talked about. Us. It's all of us just stare at it. Talk about the Webheads podcast. We all have spider sense. <laughs> We all have it. Yeah, they got to... I don't think they have to do too much to just say, hey, they're here the whole time. Mm-hmm. It doesn't stop anything. It doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't stop anything. They just got to <laughs> explain a few things away. But... I feel like they're going to make uh, Blade look... They're going to add some aspect to him to where he doesn't look 
like Mahershala Mer- Mer- Ali. Yeah. To where it's just close, far enough away to where it's like, yeah, he's not the same person. Yeah. That was there. <laughs> right, right. This is what you do. I'm telling you right now, this is what you do. You just bring back Wesley Snipes, <laughs> and they just dub over his voice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they would do that though? Bring back Wesley? Yeah. I hope not. Aww. I hope not. <laughs> Aww, nah. yeah. If anything, he pops up in Doctor Strange. That's what I was wondering about. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're gonna get a lot of cameos mm-hmm. from people. Like one liners. Yeah. Probably some one liners are like looking through a portal and you see so and so. That's the, I told you this before. That the only thing that worries me about Doctor Strange and just bringing in random characters that we haven't already seen in the MCU is that, okay, if you show me Wesley, like, I haven't even seen Mahershala's right. Blade yet. Right, that's true. And, like, yeah, I know that he's from a different universe, but in ours, we don't know anything about him. Yeah. Here. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I can guarantee you I can go on Twitter right now and ask, like who knows who played Blade in the original trilogy? There's gonna be a lot of people who don't even know that it was Wesley Snipes. For sure. Really? There's a lot of yeah. people that don't even know that there was a Blade. Like they don't even know that Blade is a Marvel that, character. Yeah. Huh? Isn't it crazy? I, uh, I guess yeah. That's that's crazy. I just always assumed because Blade was like that first like superhero movie. Not even like a real superhero movie, but like the movie that kind of it made hella money Mm -hmm. it put they made three sequels so obviously enough people have seen them to know like that's blade right right. um so i think if you popped up like maybe people won't know that you know like oh who that is or anything but they're gonna kind of put two and two together and be like yeah i I only say that because it's like yeah because like how you were saying that like when you went to see no way home like Danny even saw Daredevil mm-hmm. or Matt Murdock show up, guy. and she was like, "Oh, who is that?" So I can only imagine that Wesley Snipes shows up as Blade, and like, people are like, like oh. there's gonna be a good amount of people like, "Who the hell is that?" Well, I feel like that's one of those things where they're like, they're expecting some people to know, mm-hmm. and they're expecting other people to talk about it online yeah. to create yeah, that buzz, and then that yeah, buzz. Yeah, I mean, is people are like, gonna leave and like. Why was Wesley Snipes in the Doctor Strange movie? Yeah. Right, and, and then they Google it, yeah. and it's like he's the original like, Oh, player. shit, yeah. Like, oh, okay. It's going to be one of those things where you, after the movie, you go home and go online, and it's like, here's all the cameos you missed, yeah. and <laughs> this person, and Watch this. Watch that screen crusher. Yeah. Go. yeah. <laughs> it's like all 96 cameos yeah. <laughs> of Doctor Strange. <laughs> so, that, I mean, Marvel knows what they're doing. For sure. Who they put I, in yeah, the movies. I, and I guess I forget that we... We do this every week, and we know <laughs> all right, the people not that are going to be coming in. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think they've earned enough respect from me, at least, Yeah. Uh, to just trust them. Let them do their thing. I agree. I got this. Yeah. I'm excited for Moon Knight, for sure. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really just excited, like you said, the supernatural aspect of it, but it's going to be refreshing to just have, you know, a new storyline with yeah. hopefully not too much of an Avengers pool or mm. not too many of the A-listers influence on what is the content and what's spoken about in this, mm. you know, this series. And I would honestly be okay with if they don't even, like, if it's not, like, a platform for another series. Like, yeah. it's just it ends and, like, what the hell? What do we do now? Like, mm. well, that's just how some series ends. It's like, it doesn't need to be an end credit all the time. Yeah, not everybody needs to be in the movies. Just give us the shows. Yeah. Like, give me three seasons of Moon Knight. I'm fine with that. I don't care. I mean, because if you think about it, that's if you if we got three seasons mm-hmm. in this hypothetical situ- situation, and you know the episodes are forty to an hour long, mm-hmm. you're getting way more Moon Knight than you would at Captain America or yeah. Spider Man. Like, that's more than a, that's multiple movies right there mm-hmm. if you really want to break it down. So. I'm, yeah, I'm fine with it's just TV shows for a lot of these. Mm-hmm. Just don't do what the Netflix shows were doing and kind of winking at me about, <laughs> you know where this takes place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got nothing now. I think this was not what we expected for the episode, but I think it was a good conversation on where we, where we want to see the show go and the MCU as a whole. Yeah, it's because we don't, I mean, this is, like you said, before this is one of those shows we just don't know anything about yeah like even if you read up on the characters you'll know like the backstories maybe when the show starts but 
this show is completely out of left field compared to everything else that we've seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, wise. I'm gonna be right there online with you guys watching those screen crush videos mm-hmm. on this thing that I missed in the <laughs> yeah. video and all that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. Likewise. Yeah. When you guys watch the show, let us know what you think and where you think it's gonna go and how how you like it so far. We're close to Doctor Strange now too. Yeah. Two months. Yeah, well, it's exciting. Came fast. Well, once this comes out, we're going to be like a month away. Yeah. Is it May 10th? Yeah. Yeah, so a month and a half, give or take some days. Because, yeah, today's, this is coming out March 20-something. Something that I don't, I mean, we'll, we won't jump on the topic for too long. Um, but I think I mentioned this to you before. I don't want Doctor Strange just to become a cameo-filled movie. Mm-hmm. You know, I want that to be on the back burner like no way home was kind of like not held up but like what made it even more great was the fact that andrew and toby were both there Mm -hmm. i don't want dr strange to do the same thing i want it to just be held up by the characters that already has Mm -hmm. and not have to really justify the reason for bringing those characters in and the part that scares me about that is that like i i haven't seen anything about what the story's supposed to be have yeah. You, have you watched What If? Mm. Um, it, it just seems like it's What If mixed in with Doctor Strange. Like, it's it's obviously Supreme Strange. And his. I feel like it's his story, what he did, what we already witnessed in the animation. And it's the repercussion of what he did. And I feel like they're going to somehow yeah, I think tie it into what he did in No Way Home. Yeah, they're definitely... Right? They From what I've heard... Multiverse of Madness has nothing to do with No Way Home at all. Oh, okay. Like, they're saying that what he did there has no effect on Multiverse of Madness. I f- um, maybe it's just... I thought it was, I thought it was going to be, like, accumulation of it, I, every... Yeah, like it might all be, like, those. a... WandaVision, like, yeah. Loki... Spider-Man, Spider-Man, but now you're saying... I, for, <laughs> when I, what I think is what happened in What If, and then what happened in No Way Home, and what happened in WandaVision... It's all happening at the same time. That's what I think. That's what I think, too. Like, it's a linear moment. Yeah, because maybe that's what, like, we saw what happened in What If, where he couldn't uh, stop the... His fiance from dying. That, and then he couldn't, uh, was it, converge the... Or bring it all back together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then Wanda kind of, her, like, kind of gaining all that power caused that whole disturbance. And then in No Way Home... He was struggling to... It seems like him and Wanda are both going to be on trial for... What they've done. Messing with reality too much. Mm-hmm. Like, even if they don't really tackle the whole, like, No Way Home thing, yeah. the fact that those other strangers are there, at least the one from What If, the fact that he's there, maybe, like, they're going through reality just, like, killing Doctor Strangers due to them just being Ooh, like too out of... Yeah. yeah. But this is like the Illuminati doing it, like right. outside, or I, we don't even know if they're outside of Kang's control or anything. But that's see. true. We don't know. We don't know if we're gonna. Well, I th- we don't know if we're gonna see Kang at yeah. all in this movie, because I know he's the main uh, what, antagonist, right, for multi uh, Quantum Mania. Yeah. Man mm-hmm. and the Wasp. He's supposed to be the main villain in that yeah. movie. Yeah. And that could be who he can die in that movie, and like that could be the end of the whole King thing too. Right. Like sure. we don't know. <laughs> yeah, it should be interesting. Damn. Moon Knight also. Going back to Moon Knight, it could be a springboard for a lot of things that's to come too. We just haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. Because it is such a it's such a mystical storyline, right? Mm. And Doctor Strange, he's in the world of uh, yeah mysticism. That's and his magic, whole thing. Right? That's his thing. Now I feel like I'm overloaded with stuff. Hell yeah. That's kind of like what I feel like. <laughs> There's just too much to process. Damn. Well, shit. I, this year we got a lot of stuff coming, so. Mm-hmm. We'll do more of these kind of talk talk episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're just discussing what's going on. I hope I didn't veer you guys too far off. Of- no. I mean, these, these special episodes where we're not uh, specifically reading anything. Mm-hmm. It just kind of goes how it goes. Yeah. Off the hip. Uh, no complaints on my end. Sweet. Yeah. It's going to blow up a couple of houses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just for the blow hell of it. Blow that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> EDT, 
I feel like it's like that. Uh, remember that episode of Family Guy where they blew up the house and like all the different angles? <laughs> it's like, dude. <laughs> you know, it'd be really fucked up though if I hit this and then all of a sudden you see smoke come up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what was that uh, that one movie where it's like you can get like a million dollars or something. You mm. just got to push the button, but yeah. somewhere someone dies, yeah. and then so they they get the button. It's like that. It's like every time you hit that. You're blowing someone's I'm telling house you, up. if I hit that button one day and I see smoke come up from somewhere, you guys better not try to tell me shit Hell ever no. again. I'm never Nothing. saying, I don't even know if I'm coming back. Nah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm coming back. <laughs> I don't want any part of this. As soon as that happens, I know I'm going to look over at you and you're going to be like a death dealer in that Shang-Chi one. Oh, like, shit. hey, like I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna just say all the books that we read are just not good. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a, it's it's a. It's nah, a, this was really bad. <laughs> this one sucked. It's a Paul Walker. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. All right, guys. That was uh, our Moon Knight special. We will be back again next week with another story. I don't remember what that story is right now, but hopefully you guys are here to hear it. So again, thanks to. Uh, our guy Robbie Rodello. Thank, thank you, for thank by you. Again. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure. I'll come as often as you want me to come through. I'll be here. <laughs> um, I appreciate the I appreciate the platform to speak. I, w- I wasn't trying to talk as much, but no. hopefully I did my my due justice to you guys. No, you did great. Thank cool. you. Cool. Not embarrassed you guys too too much. Not at all. <laughs> No. Thank you. Thank just, you again. But just know that my grandma's going to hear this and she's going to really? hear you cussing. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real? Yeah, she listens to everyone. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, she listens to everyone. <laughs> she knows nothing that we're talking about at all. Oh, my but she's goodness. Gonna, she's going to hear it, and she's like, oh. She's going to hear my foul mouth. She's like, oh, he, he talks just like one. <laughs> Don't judge me too. Don't judge me too hard. I promise. I'm, I'm a sweetheart. I mean no harm. I just... Actually, I don't know if she listens. Okay, cool, yeah. man. You got me sweating bullets she, over here. Yeah. For real, for real. I don't play about the the, the, the grandparents and, and parents. Nah, she's, I know she reposts the stories, but I don't know if she listens. Aww. I know she's she told me she has, but I don't know if she does. Everything. She's sweet. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. She's great, and we uh, and she allows us to come here every Sunday or every other Sunday to record. So thank you, Grandma. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. And Hugs Stanley. And, kisses. Yeah. and Stan. Stan the man. <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah, that was it. That's all we got. So uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for listening. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>